Today's task is simple. We are at one of our antique malls where we resell toys, and I've got a basket full of Thomas the Tank stuff. Actually, a lot of it's Thomas the Tank, a lot of it's kind of off-brand, but uh, we have a really neat display of Thomas the Tank stuff, right? Yeah. But it's kind of bare right now because we sold it all. Yeah. So we brought all that we had to restock, and uh, we're gonna set our train track back up. And then after that, there's some friends in town. I don't know what we're gonna do with them. Game shopping, eating, thrifting. I don't know, we'll find something to do today. So just stick around. All right, the booth doesn't look so bad. It's not a royal mess. I mean, the train track is, but it usually is because kids actually play with it. So let's actually take this off. Let's try to set this up in a sensible way. We'll put some new cars on it. Look at how many we're down to. There's four here. There was double this many a month, a month and a half ago. That's wild, isn't it? Kind of excited. I don't have high hopes, but there's a bunch of monster high dolls here, so I'm hoping that maybe there's a few brat stalls in here somewhere. But we'll see. I'm gonna dig for a minute and let you know. Music's getting loud, so I'm gonna dig and then I'll check back in a second. Is that a pop? That's beautiful. I love that. Okay, I searched high and low. I found a little troll doll ninja turtle, but no brat stalls. But there is this thing. Do you like? Yes, I do. 17 bucks. <laughs> I'd rather find him with the thrift, I guess. Oh, look at him. He's so pretty. They want $42.99, which is reasonable, but I don't want to spend $42.99. Oh, C3PO, you're a Lego. I always check this booth here before we leave for trading card stuff, see if there's anything that I'm into. Uh, it turns out I actually know the guy whose booth this is. I just didn't know it was his. Really cool guy. And he's just, I don't know where he gets this stuff, but he gets some great stuff. I've still yet to get into this lockbox and dig through some of these Pokemon. I need to, but I'm just waiting until there's a reason to come make a video about, you know, hunting for cards and stuff. But I'm, right now I'm just looking for packs of stuff. I need some, uh, like, just packs of any of this stuff that I can open on our second channel. Ooh, there's some packs up top. Maryland, I've never seen that. Some baseball and some Pokemans. Ooh, I never noticed that box back there. $12 trainer kit. So when we first moved in, I noticed this little booth right out the gate because i mean it's all the stuff that i sell on depop it's your harley davidson shirts it's all your levi jackets and just a ton of really cool collectibles and it turns out i actually know the guy that runs this booth i figured i did because i figured he would frequent the bins um and i think he does really well and i'm really happy for him but um i think it's really cool that he's got a whole booth here i would definitely think about doing that with all my clothes stuff because what I sell is very different. I do mostly jeans and dresses so definitely more geared towards girls. This is more geared towards guys for sure. Um, and I think it's really cool. So down the road maybe. I want to see how much these games in here are. Stopping over by my booth to check things out and dish wise looks great. Clothes wise, yikes. Oh, this is this is killing me. Just hanging on by this little tiny clasp here. Oh, this thing's like from the 1930s. I mean it's probably not that old, it's actually 70s, but still. Oh, let's hang her back up. Alright better. I've been keeping this in color coordination so it's kind of rainbowed and uh, every time I come I have to 
reshuffle it all and make it look a little bit more organized. I added a bunch of skirts last time I was here and those people, I guess, do not feel the need to hang back up. So good to know, good to know. Oh, I've got some shuffling to do. So I definitely noticed a few things are missing, which is exciting and some extras that don't belong to me. But one thing that keeps selling tons of are these Disney cups. There's a huge hole of them missing and then one of my goofy mugs is gone. So that's exciting. Um, this is looking a little thin too, so I'm not sure what's sold there, but definitely something. Some mugs are gone. It's looking good. And I've got a huge space right here, which is really cool too. I can spread this baby out. Pop him back down here too. All right. We're back in order. Oh yeah, that is mine. I forgot about that. I swear I've forgotten how many cute booths are here, but I've never been out here. So I'm just gonna take a quick gander. This is Picker's Alley. So this is basically all like outdoor stuff. Lots of doors, marquee signs, furniture stuff. It's pretty interesting. And a scary Elsa, I guess. I don't know who it is, but she's very dirty. So peaceful out here. Oh, there's the music. <laughs> there's a bunch of those things, meat grinders. Maybe 15, depending on how, oh, depending on size. I they did 15 to 40. So mine are like at 20, I think. So that's not bad at all. Okay, that's not shaded. So I think uh, I'm gonna go back inside. I'm getting a little sweaty. So I paid retail <laughs> on these sealed Game Boy games. Right before we walked out the door of our own antique mall, I couldn't help myself. Mostly just because I collect Dynasty Warriors stuff. So. I'm gonna put that on my Dynasty Warrior shelf and it's just kinda of gonna be nice to have a sealed Game Boy game of that on there. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, then the other one was just an impulse purchase. It was honestly a couple dollars over uh, price charting for this sealed game, but I can play it all the time. I don't have enough inbox Game Boy games on my shelf. So not only do I have two more inbox now, I've got two sealed ones. Pretty stuck. It's a good way to start the day, I think. I mean, Dynasty Warriors is like top three favorite franchises for me, so makes sense all right real quick stop at desert industries this is not the desert industries that we went to on like yesterday maybe the day before this episode but it looks just like it they look identical the surroundings don't but the building is near identical uh, I really just want to check the lock boxes here real quick because they're usually pretty good so the other day I found a bowl that was specifically for a friend's set so today I found four bowls a sugar bowl and a ton of mugs so I'm texting her like, what do you want? I'll get it for you. <laughs> no. I need a cart so I can fit all this in there. All right. KitchenAid mixer, paint balls. Yeah. Not a lot of what I'm looking for, but it's worth looking. And are there any games? Oh my God. No. No. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I haven't been that pumped to find a game in ages. Oh my God. What? What's I, like my eyes are watering. Like, holy crap. What just happened? What just happened? Oh wow. That's an interesting piece. This would be perfect for our antique mall boots, but I'm not paying 30 for it, unfortunately, mm -hmm. as much as I want it. We are meeting some friends at my favorite buy, sell, trade store. Woo! We usually come here to do our trade-in series, but I didn't bring an instrument to trade in today. We're just gonna go 
look at stuff and probably buy something. I don't know. I'm on a little bit of a fact-finding mission over at the Pops because when the other day we went to the collector's marketplace and I saw a bunch of Pops that I really liked, but they were all like standard price $11. So I feel like I could find some of the ones that I want a little bit cheaper than that. So I'm gonna see if maybe they have them cheaper or if they have any of them. So we're gonna see. They are three deep though. So I don't know how deep I'm gonna get into all this. I'm just gonna take a little browse. The wild thornberry, that one's a good one. Nigel. That's great. Uh, Abel G. $7.50, okay. That's good. Abel G. Oh, here's one that I wanted to look at for sure. How much are you, Goofy? Okay, $8.50, that's better. That's definitely better. And here's the Yellow Ranger. Got that, though. Oh, this is a different one. $6.50. It's from the movie, I guess. Here, you can see on the tops of them. Who is that? Oh, Rick and Morty, that makes sense. Better not leave this a mess. So we're about to meet my buddy Aaron. You might know him as Ambiguously Brown, fellow YouTuber. I'll put the link to his channel below. He says he's got a box of goodies for me, which is really exciting because this guy's like an electronics genius. <laughs> so he's probably like made me something or something crazy. So I can't wait to see. I had a bunch of NES games and he gave me like 35 bucks for it. Really? Yeah. All right. Oh no. 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 Is this one you did yourself? Yeah, turn it on. Or you want to put a game in? Yeah, go for it. Those games are We'll just put. Is this about to be so bright my eyes are blinded? Possibly. Oh my god, look, we're in direct has, sunlight! It has a backlight on it. We're in direct sunlight and I can see this, like with no problem. <laughs> the camera doesn't even do it justice. Oh, it's a solar charger. I figured I had an extra one, you could have it if no. you need it. No. It's a, you can tell it's a good one. Yeah. It's a nice one. Bruh. Sweet. <laughs> Wasn't sure if you had that. Oh. And I like, I like, this. um, pop sockets. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like a... Are you kidding? <laughs> it's like mechanically engineered. Yeah. You're like... No. Well, that's why I need a new case. Because I can't put one of those on here, yeah. I don't think. That's awesome. I have one on my old case, but now it fits the fit on the rubber. Bruh. Anime glasses. Now I'm an anime character. <laughs> okay, well, I can't see anything. Yeah! Have you heard her say Worms is her favorite? Yeah. Oh, man. We'll play that tonight. Oh, well, heck yeah. Bruh. Oh, wow. Cool. I'm stoked about this game, Lord. So we're about to meet Aaron and his family at the Brass Armadillo, which is where one of our toy booths is. But we're gonna go over there because uh, he's collecting laser discs now. And it's such an awesome thing to collect. I've got a couple in my toy booth. I told him he's more than welcome to them because I can't sell them. They haven't sold at all. Uh, but while we're on the way there real quick, there's a Goodwill right here. And the last time we were over here, there were some laser discs here. I don't think they're still gonna be there, but I'm just stopping there real quick, see if they are. If they are, I'll buy them for him. If not, well, he does, it, it's no big deal. Well, Dallas looks for those laser discs. I'm just gonna peek at the dishes. Look at this cute little teapot. I like that a lot. That's very sweet. There's a ton of people in here, so I'm not expecting to find a ton, but uh, we'll see. Last time I was here, there was a whole bunch of laser disc movies here. And, uh, Obviously, there's some final records too, but let's see if there's any of those movies still here. We'll snatch them up. Okay, they're all vinyl records. There's no movies here, but it's worth a shot. It's been a little bit too long for them to still be here, but last time I saw laser discs at a Goodwill like this, they sit there forever because no one bought them, but someone got them this time. Some fun stuff going on. Got a, uh, I think this is Anchor Hawking, but it could be Pyrex. Yeah, Anchor Hawking. Um, no, 
not very valuable, but it's cool to see a whole set. I do like this though. It's a little uh, Ray Dunn casserole dish. I don't know if it was supposed to have a lid or something, but you would think it would. Sorry, I don't need one of those. Here's another one. <laughs> this one's $7. Oh, it looks like Ray Dunn, but it's not. That's interesting. Fooled me, that's for sure. Some glass bake. This is intriguing. It's like a little camp stove. That's nice. Oh. That looks a lot fancier than it is. That is very light and very cheap feeling. You can check everything else real quick while we're here too. Just make sure there's no games. Madden, Madden, Dance Dance. Not a lot. Okay, this is sweet. How cool is that Bowser cup? It's $3.49. It's a little more expensive than what I would think to put in the booth, but let's see if Dallas wants it. Whoa. What do you think? I don't know, I mean, I don't know. It's like it's too expensive to sell, but I don't know if you want it. Yeah, I kind of maybe think it'd be cool in the Mario show because we don't have any glass on there. Maybe you should look that up, just see exactly what it is. The reason that I remember that this place had those laser discs is because last time we were here, there was a Pokemon Monopoly here as well that we didn't buy, but thought really hard over. Of course, it's not still here. Someone got that for sure, but uh, some of you might remember that. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. This looks wonderful. I have to hold on to that. Here is an awesome piece that I would love to get for our train sets that we resell. This is beautiful. It's a very, it's a, it's a unique piece. But eight bucks, I'd probably sell it for eight to ten bucks, and it's just not, not a good one. Now let's check these binders real quick. I'm looking for binders suitable for my trading card collections, but also I like checking them just to make sure there isn't any branded. Like if I have a Beyblade set, I'd love a Beyblade binder to put them in. But also sometimes you can find these binders with some card sleeves in them, just some extras. So I don't see anything though. Unintentional pickup, came here for laser discs left for the Harry Potter game. This is a good one though. This looks awesome. Yeah, it really does. That's uh, it's gonna go on our shelf. We'll open it some other time, see if it's all there. Keep it until another one shows up, try to complete one if it's not complete. And we're trying to keep one of all of these Harry Potter games and then we resell the rest. So we've already accumulated a couple because we sell them pretty well at our antique malls. So we've accumulated two or three different board games. That's the first time I've ever seen that one. I actually am not familiar with it at all. All right, we're walking up to the Brass Armadillo now. And I don't think Aaron and his family have ever shopped at one. So we're gonna have a good little time looking around and stuff. I found this for Hannah. <laughs> This is gonna go on Hannah's Zenith shelf, but also I was just walking by and uh, I actually hadn't seen any of these in person really. It's uncut FLIR cards. And obviously I've got to have that for my Power Rangers shelf. Um, but I'd forgot, I, I kind of knew this was a thing and some of you guys have actually posted some on our Discord. I just, I forgot it was a thing. So there's that. And here's some Goosebumps. No, I wonder if that's the complete collection. I bet it is. It's kind of sealed up like it is. You see anything good? Uh, Scott Evil. Oh, nice. Austin Powers. That was one of the movies Hannah and I, we were like, we need to watch that together because I quote it all the time mm -hmm. and she never knows what I'm talking about. She watched it without me one day. Now she knows. <laughs> it's a very quotable movie. Super cool. Have you ever been to Brass Armadillo? This is my first time. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? I, I'm, I'm digging it. This guy makes a lot of money off me. He puts a bunch of these uh, trading card games in here and I've bought all of them. And so I keep coming back. See, he's restocked. Yeah, all right, I need it here. Cause uh, he sells, like he's got some Beyblade training cards in here. He sells them for a dollar and I'll keep buying them and he keeps putting more in. I'm kind of surprised he hasn't raised the price. So I'm just gonna keep buying them until he does. Start to do place like this I'm going to bits. take. Like, I'm gonna just do lockboxes today and I'll come. Okay, we're home. Check this out. I'm glad there's, I was afraid Aaron we'd show up and there'd be none. But these are all for you. Oh damn, thank you so much. You're gonna much. have to let Hannah carry them out though, because oh, that's funny. you'll get charged. You won't. Godzilla. Um, oh yeah, I call just rent, but this is my one of my like top five favorite movies ever. I've never seen it. So that'd be good. 
Hell Total yeah, Recall. Total Recall. Do you have that one yet? No, I don't. You've got several Arnold Schwarzenegger, though, don't I you? I do, I do. So I'll add that to the pile. Dude, thank you so like, much. Yeah. I really you'll, you'll have to let me, you'll have to watch somewhere in time. Yeah. And uh, let me know what you think of that. Oh, absolutely. Thank you so much. No man. problem. I really appreciate that. Check this nerf out on the ground. Pretty stoked. The kids come in here and play with our stuff and then you toss it <laughs> on the ground. You know what I love more than having friends? Having friends that like a pizza as much as I do. I ate it all. <laughs> it's all gone. It was good. Today's gonna end up just being a great day. Heck, it's already been a great day. We got Prezzies, we hung out with friends. <laughs> we went to all our favorite stores. We're at our next favorite store now, Zia Records. Weird high five, because I got a handful <laughs> of things. This tick figure is wild. He's so big. And he's heavy. Does he make noise? Well, he needs new batteries, I guess, but that's awesome. I'd love to find that out in the wild. Found more laser discs. I did. Today's a day full of laser discs. That's awesome. What a great movie. I've actually never seen this, but some guys Dude, were talking good. about it on the uh, Discord the other day. It's really good. That's that's I guess it was originally 20, now it's 5.99. Heck yeah. Nobody wanted it, so you got it. Oh my. I've never seen these Dragon Ball Z toys before. I, I think they're actually old. 1998, 97. I didn't know. I mean, I'm not surprised, I guess, they have them that old. But I looked at them and I was like, why are they so expensive? And I started realizing they're from a while ago. I can't wait to see your full laser disc collection. <laughs> you might be the only person I know personally that collects laser disc. With the ones that you gave me, the ones I have on the way, and then the four that I bought today, that makes 31. 31 discs. Mm -hmm. That's nice. You're going to keep collecting them, though? You're going to get a yeah. whole bunch? No. Just like anything you want to watch, you'll probably get it? Pretty much, yeah. That's cool. They, they don't take up as much space as VHS. You can put them on a Cadillac shelf like For this. Sure. And then just... Yeah, um, you... Whereas my Cadillac shelf that I had when I was collecting VHS... Oh, I started to collect VHS? Right. After like 10 movies, I'm like... Yeah, it looks gross. Mm. I don't need this. Well, I said, I got smart and said I'm going to collect Dragon Ball Z VHS. Yeah. And I have about 100 now, and it's getting out of hand. Oh, <laughs> but uh, do you know if they make any, like, new age movies on Laserdisc like they do? You know, some artists will make an album on vinyl still. I, I mean, that's obviously a little more simple, but. I wouldn't know. I know these are discontinued in 2000. Right. But... It'd be interesting to know if any, like, independent people are making it. I bet, I, like, I feel like I wouldn't be that surprised if uh, Criterion still put out Laserdisc or something. You know what I mean? Seriously. Aaron just found Japanese Sega Saturn games. And I found a Jink. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Wow. And I have a Japanese Saturn, so I could totally play them. That works out. Is that just an odd Dreamcast game? Yeah. Interesting. I thought it was the web browser, but apparently it's in the wrong case. Lol. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, I think this is gonna be the last stop today, but we'll see how it goes. This is Bookman's next to the Goodwill. Might do both, might not. I don't know. What'd you find? A Sora Pop. You gonna get it? I think so, he's oh, only $6. she's buying a pop. Ooh. All right, well, I found a bunch of stuffs. It's all interesting enough, but look at this. We've got the laser discs. It's not a tumor. See anything good so far? Uh, well, I love Arnold Schwarzenegger, so that kindergarten top is a good one. That's what I'm talking about. Um, so far, yeah, that's the best one I've seen. Really? Finn Nikita, man, Thunderbolt. Not a James Bond fan. Fish Cold Mod is a good one. They got multiples of those. French Connection. Don't know what that is. Wait, what was it? Go back to the sky. What the, was it? Okay, I got it. The Saint of Fort Washington. Yeah. Don't know. Tarzan, Tarzan. the Ape Man. Humphrey Bogart. The Incubus. Carlito's Way. Um, they have a lot less here than they do at Zia. Yeah. Oh, over here. Oh, they got Darkman 2. That's not bad. That one's okay, but I'd rather have Darkman 1. Hey, Forrest Gump. Hey, $4? Four That's bucks. not good. That's yeah. not bad. I'm gonna grab that one. Alien. Let's go. How much? 10 bucks. A little bit more, but. That's a maybe. 
You got some credit here, don't you? I got 20 bucks. Ooh, that's one of my favorite films. This one? Scent of a Woman, yeah. You know, I've never seen that. Either. It's get it up, pick it up on DVD or something next time you see it. It's good. And then this is uh, that's a vinyl. There's a few things here worth talking about. First, scuba turt. Second, two dollars. <laughs> you like the sound? <laughs> scuba turt. Uh, I have a bunch of these. Is that the, okay? There's the price tag. Four bucks. What are what if they want some more of them? <laughs> I'm gonna get some trading credit out of them because I've got a hundred of these wooden seller toy booths. I only need to keep like ten or twelve of them to play with. A whole lot here. I wish I could find more of this. Two dollars for that's great. Hey, Hannah. Yeah. Go forth and buy the stuff. Okay. All right. Tell us one more time. How many laser discs are you up to? Right now, I'm up to 33. 33. I just bought two more. What is there a stopping point, or are you just gonna get all the good movies? Probably just getting all the good movies and all the movies that I love. And right. Stuff. I'm I'm not planning on getting a full set because there's thousands. Yeah. That's a little. You don't want to build a fort out of them. Or no, of course not. But you know, I want a nice collection of like 80s action movies, right. 90s comedies, stuff like that. For sure. Yeah. All right, Hannah, how many pops are you gonna collect now? All of them. Now that you finally <laughs> bought your first pop. <laughs> I think I'm just getting the like characters that I enjoy from the series that I enjoy. I'm not gonna go crazy, but. Okay. Well, here comes the comments. Everyone, every time we get pops too we're like rabbit hole rabbit hole and it's gonna have a thousand pops before we're done there's a goodwill next door now so let's check that out real quick oh this is really sweet these little interlocking salt and peppers it's like i guess the shepherd and her sheep it's really cute oh they're hugging Alrighty, folks, little snippet for your self affirmation Saturday. Be inspired. We've been here a lot lately and haven't really given them a lot of chance to restock, but it looks like they've done some now. And here's a bag of toys that's pretty interesting. Just a lot of nonsense, a Power Ranger, some Marvel figures. Not enough to buy, but I got excited there for a second at the Marvel figures. What do you got? I'm just looking at all the naked Barbies, you know. Yeah. Doing my thing. The usual. Alright, I don't think I don't think I see anything crazy. You know what that is, right? That is a Tupperware measuring cup and it's in really good yeah. condition. This is honestly the best condition one I have found yet. Other than one that you guys sent me, it had its lid. That one was amazing. But this one for the wild, fantastic. Oh, you thought it was over. It wasn't. That woman has a lettuce head on her head. You find anything? Nothing? Well, I was at a Goodwill earlier today without you, and this was like eight bucks. I'm gonna get it for two. Isn't that a nice special piece? Ooh, it is. It's very it's nice. Got this little, like... Yeah. Moving parts are always nice. So Ooh. I'm gonna get that and then another binder, because I need that bad. But I need a bigger one, actually. I might go with this one. Boom. Actually. Boom. Upgrade. I'll, I'll take that one. Okay, Hannah, do you see what I see? What? Look at the bottom. <laughs> what? Bruh. Oh my god. Bruh. Well, that's for our Bratz trading cards. Oh my god. Now we gotta go back to the antique mall and buy all of them. Oh my god. <laughs> we swore we were gonna start collecting different trading card series until we have binders for them to go in but that was not really that hard of a front like a thing to acquire because of course that shows up well why would this be the first one we find we've right. literally got one pack hey it's got a notebook so that's gonna be plenty of space for the whole rats collecting that's cards sweet. all right baseball and platoon oh heck yeah I don't, I don't have either of those platoon and just baseball nice uh let me see all your laser discs real quick Let's see the whole stack. Let's see what a stack of laser discs looks like. Stack. Now that is what a stack of laser discs looks like. Well, How many is that? Twelve. Okay. And so your 30 still doesn't take up a whole shelf. Oh, not at all. How are you storing them at home? Um, these are actually the first ones I got. I, had, I did have some ordered, but they haven't come in yet. Oh, really? Yeah. Very nice. Well, when you get it all together, you'll have to send me a picture. Oh, of course. Well, Aaron, it was good hanging out with you. You too, Appreciate man. you, man. Good to see you. You know, we've got what we do on this channel down to a, I won't say a science, but we've certainly found routine in what we do, right? 
I say it to say I don't come home very tired often anymore because I know exactly what we need to do when we leave the house, and I usually leave the house with enough energy. But we did some running today, and I am tired. We went to a lot of places. We did. We killed it. Uh, it was a lot of fun running around with Aaron and his family. Aaron has been around since the beginning of this channel. You may not recognize him because he hasn't been in a video for a little while because COVID kind of messed things up. But uh, he's been in some videos in the past. We go shopping with him. We've been down to his neck of the woods and thrifted with him. Uh, and this is the first time we've been able to reunite since COVID took over all of our lives. So that was so much fun. I'm glad to be able to finally hang out with him some more because we share every interest in the world so uh we get along really well so there's a bunch of stuff here he got us we'll talk about that here in a second but we picked up a bunch of stuff today had us to start just rapid fire what did you get and why okay we'll start with this simple it's a tupperware dish because i buy tupperware and put it in my dish booth so it make lots of money yeah i actually have several of these in my dish booth already so this was an impulse purchase but it was a dollar what do i do yeah. I, had to, I had to get it for sure um what else did i get this is a lot okay I'm gonna talk about this. This is really cool. <laughs> this is from Desert? Yes. So I, anytime that I see these specific Mikasa brand dishes that are that are this set, I buy them for my friend. Oh, this, so this is the same stuff you bought a couple episodes ago. Yeah, so I found a, a big serving bowl for her and then Desert had a huge haul of these today and I was like, girl, you need these. So, <laughs> um, the little sugar bowl, there are six of these little mugs. They all have the same little pattern on the front. And then these are what she thought I found the other day, but now I'm like, no, these are the ones. Now you actually <laughs> found them. But there were four of these little cereal bowls and they are just the cutest things. We're so. gonna make sure all her cabinets have nothing but a hundred of these each. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. She's very excited. <laughs> So what else? Um, you got some other stuff buried under here. Here you go. Talk about this. This okay. is this is fine of the day. It was like the last fine too. This is a collective purchase. This is just as much for me as it is for him. <laughs> I can't believe this is, this one is the first one that we found though. I figured we'd find some kind of like Spider Man or something. Yeah. Like what a brat? We have. Uh, dozens of different trading card sets now we've been putting together and I've said this on the channel lately we want to put them in binders that are branded so Hannah's Bratz trading cards are gonna go right in there this is super cool because it does have the notebook and some girl named Vicky colored it very nicely yeah she did a good job <laughs> thanks Vicky it's so awesome I think I only got one more thing which is buried in this here little bag there's a lot in this bag Oh. This was my impulse purchase for me. So, I say this all the time on the channel. We, I, listen, if you're new to this channel, it probably looks like a mess. Well, it looks like a mess to all of you, I'm sure. But, like, I have said for a couple weeks now that we're doing some serious reorganizing. And we are. These top shelves up here, those are a new addition. We're trying to go all the way around with them. And when we do, a lot of this, some of this loose gaming stuff will be along the top edges. And then we're going to have very specific, we've already drawn it out. We literally have a diagram of what shelves are going to have what toys. And Hannah has a growing Kingdom Hearts collection. I do. And of course, we are game collectors together. So we also have all the Kingdom Hearts games that will go on that game shelf. And that's the cool thing about a lot of our collections. Once we get them lined out the way we want, It'd be pretty dope to have the Power Ranger games on this shelf. Have the Pokemon games on this shelf. So are you gonna unbox it? Hannah's an unboxer. I know, there's so many pop collectors who are like, stop it, stop it, you're hurting me. Well, you didn't You didn't undo any special edition seal sticker that was on it, so. No, it was already fine. opened. Look at him. He is wonderful. This is, if you don't know Kingdom Hearts, um, Sora, who this character is, goes to different Disney and in the third one, Pixar, uh, worlds that are themed after the movies. And this is the, and whenever he does, he gets changed into a specific look. And this is him in Monsters, Inc. That's very cool. That's so super cool. That's definitely fine of the day. Uh, I think we don't have any Kingdom Hearts stuff laid out just yet. So he's just gonna have to live here. Are we gonna put him back in this box? Are we gonna keep the box? Or are you just like- Well, I'm definitely gonna keep the box. So I don't know if I'm going to keep him in the box or if I'm gonna right. keep the box somewhere else. Well, we definitely, you can make that decision later. We'll probably put him back in the box for now so it stays safe. 
Uh, but that's cool. It's probably fine of the day too. Is that all you got? I think so. All right. Well, I'm gonna take a deep breath for what I got. I don't even know. I don't even know what's in these bags. I literally couldn't even guess. Oh, okay. So we got a couple train pieces today, uh, and this is good. It was really timely that this stuff showed up when it did, because our uh, flea market booths that we sell in. This is actually pretty confusing. Okay, I see now. <laughs> see how all of this can kind of like connect together. The flea market booth, the antique malls that we sell in, we've been doing really well with this stuff, and but we sold it all out faster than I've been able to restock it. And that's always a really troublesome thing when you resell the way we do in these antique malls. It can be very difficult sometimes to keep things stocked, especially if it does well and it sells out so fast. You go, oh, I'd love to get more, but if you're only source, if you only source stuff how we do, and you don't have an online place to go buy it, it can get a little sticky. So I. That was probably one of the most practical things I bought today for resale. And let's get rid of some of these bags. That's the dishes. Those are all dishes. Okay. Um, I picked up a lot of random stuff today. Uh, one of those last stops that Bookman's we went to, uh, our second, well, let me just get all this. Let me compile all this real quick. Check this out here. A few loose Yu-Gi-Oh cards. This is a pretty obscure Marvel trading card game. Not Overpower or Versus, Recharge. And these are Dragon Ball Z cards, right? And then, that's just to top it all off, there's another Marvel deck. There are some collector's cards and there's a really obscure game, Legend of the Five Rings. Most of you probably never even heard of that one. It's very obscure. Uh, but our second channel, we've been, uh, opening Pokemon cards. It's like our main thing, but we're expanding to just make it all about trading card games, collectibles, things that are collect... If, if it's a thing that you collect a lot of and it's all... And it comes in sets and stuff, we're probably going to talk about it on that channel. So like Hannah's Bratz dolls and things like that. Um, it's a really good reason to go subscribe to that channel because actually... I think the day this video goes up, though maybe not this day, maybe it's already happened, it's, it's kind of a rough schedule. Uh, we're doing live videos where we open lots of these vintage cards, just to kind of have an experience and see what it's like. And I usually do something contrasting, like I'll open this old card game and this new card game, or sometimes it's not just card games, it's collector's cards. Uh, like Hannah's uh, Bratz doll cards, right? <laughs> We're gonna open some of those live and let her open them and probably put them in that binder. It'll be really cool. It's all experiential. I really try to get you guys to come back for that. Even if you're if you're not into Pokemon, cool. Don't watch the Pokemon videos, but come have the experience of some of this stuff you'll never see. I use that word very, very uh, deliberately experiential. I want you to just come experience this stuff with me. I've been putting card games like this side by side with newer Marvel card games and just look at them, talking about them, smelling them, you know, doing weird things. And I've been having a blast doing it. And that ties in really nicely to this. Did you even see this? I didn't. Can, I, can you believe this? That's awesome. Yeah, and it's there. It, it, you may make the mistake that it's missing a disc but you see how it doesn't have the nubbins that's not actually the place for a disc it's just <laughs> nubbin. yeah it's just it originally came with a little pack of cards in it and i'm pretty sure the cards for <laughs> now if you had them are very valuable uh but i'm super stoked i'm i'm a big Yu-Gi-Oh fan and i don't the only Yu-Gi-Oh cards i bought today were singles um there's the the second channel we have this sounds crazy but we're gonna start pushing this initiative over there and once we get this stuff rolling and it has its own subs we'll talk less and less about this channel but obviously the only way i'm gonna get that started is by like co-opting a little bit of you guys's attention and putting it over there but we want to hannah and i we've kind of figured out what we want from the channel and we want to learn how to play over a long period of time a currently undecided number, but probably a hundred because that sounds really wholesome, a hundred different card games. And now, obviously, if you wince at that, hopefully you wince because of the effort. Uh, if you wince because it doesn't sound like there's a hundred card games out there, you'd be dead wrong. Hundreds. And I already have starter decks for dozens. This stuff, all this stuff is for that kind of thing. And so Hannah and I want to learn to play a bunch of those, and then at the end of it, or through the midst of doing so, we actually want to make our own card game. Uh, and hopefully we can do that while that channel grows so big that we can actually afford to do that in a very proper way. And then hopefully get anyone that watches that channel that has a passing interest in either card games or just what we're doing might play along with that card game that we make. So that's... I hate to even bring that up so soon because that's, 
I have a lot of big dreams. Uh, there's, you know, I'm, there's a lot of things I would like to do with this channel if it continues to take off. I mean, they're like, we resell, yeah, we collect, yeah, we do lots of little things, but there's lots of crazy stuff I'd like to do with some of this collecting stuff that I can't put into words. You'll just have to watch the videos one day when we do it. But I don't often talk about the biggest ideas until they're somewhat tangible and I can actually have assurance that I'm gonna go do them. Because there's nothing worse than being a YouTuber that says, oh, I'm gonna do this awesome thing and then don't do it. But I feel pretty confident in this because Hannah and I have a love for board game, card game type stuff and sitting down and learning to play things like this together. So you can really soon expect on our other channel, like us playing Pokemon, because that's number one, you know, that's easy. Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic the Gathering, those that a lot of us know how to play will get out of the way quick, but I'm very excited to start learning some of this obscure stuff. So that's why I've been buying up a lot of this stuff for opening on the other channel and for that really big ridiculous goal that we have. But that's not even really a start of what I got today. So let's move on past that. Yu-Gi-Oh game, trading cards, lots of trading cards. Can't believe I found two of these today for five bucks. These are starter ducks Hannah and I will sit down and learn to play each other with. Binders to put some of this trading card, because we don't just do the games, we're also collecting some of the non-gaming stuff. We'll also probably, if we sit down to play this, this, it will either be a live video on this channel, or it'll be a very well thought out video on that other channel. I don't know what we do with this, but we want to start playing some of this. Hannah and I have a big interest in these goofy, older Harry Potter games, isn't that right? Yeah. I don't even know what's in this bag. Oh, I do. I'm not even sure if I got a clip of this. This is just more of the same. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z cards. There you go. They were just cheap, so I bought them all. That's another one we're going to learn to play. Did I even get everything out of here? Just I the did. receipt. <laughs> yep, there's receipts. All right, so look down here. Aaron, right before we were about to leave, he brought a bunch of stuff to do trading credit with at the game stores we went to. They didn't want these, so he gave me Platoon and a baseball game. So, dope. And then, I don't know, that Harry, it's, it kind of sucks this Yu-Gi-Oh game showed up. It sucks for these guys, because normally my find of the day would be anything Dynasty Warriors. And to get something sealed like that, oh baby, this, I, th that was worth the money I paid for it. These were like 10 bucks each, 11 bucks each. This is not worth that sealed. These are both factory sealed. That was not worth it. But I have a thing for sealed games. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna make excuses for it, I just do. But I love Dynasty Warriors out the wall zoo, but one of the very few things I love more happens to be Yu-Gi-Oh, so that kind of got eclipsed, you know what I mean? <laughs> now, the last thing we're gonna talk about is this box from Aaron. I love, I love you, Aaron. <laughs> I do. Um, he's very thoughtful because this is Hannah's favorite thing in the world, Worms. I love it, like, I'm can you think so of a, excited. Besides maybe Kingdom Hearts, can you think of a game you love more? <laughs> But I just love to pop in and play for a minute. Absolutely yeah. not. This is perfect. This was good. Lol. And I, I think I said somewhere earlier in the video how techy Aaron is, and he is. So like, this is looks like such a good quality solar solar charger. Oh my gosh, I can't see anything. Oh. <laughs> look at how I I know it's not gonna do it justice on camera, but look how bright that is. I mean, that looks pretty bright even yeah. on camera. He backlit this himself. Check this out. He put a little IR sensor in here or something, or just light sensor. I'm tapping on this and it's changing. There's a little sensor there. That's so cool. And it's changing the brightness. Brilliant. Super brilliant. So there's that. I've got quite a few Pez Aaron has given me over the last year. Uh, so that was in there. A couple more games, Pac-Man and Wave Race. I actually don't have Wave Race, so that's awesome. There was a racing game in there, and this was funny. Again, this was so Aaron. This has a very, like, well-constructed spinner on this pop socket for the back of your phone. You guys know what pop sockets are. But, like, I knew as soon as he handed it to me why he got it for me, because he's very technically inclined, and he knows I like that stuff, too. It's still spinning. The bearing in that thing is not so. Like, it just, it shouldn't be. These are cheap plastic nonsense that you get at the dollar store. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. This is a mechanically engineered bearing. Like, this, that spins for like a minute if you let it keep going. And that built into a pop sockets is nuts. So I know why he gave it to me, because it's just amazing. It's technolo technologically amazing. As much as you like fidget spinners. <laughs> yeah, and I like my fidgies anyways. Um, so I'm gonna, I need a new phone case, but I'm gonna keep that and actually put it on my phone. Did I get out, did I go over everything? I think so. Today was an overwhelming kind of day. 
Um, cause like a, a lot's happening right now. We're trying to ramp up our other channel. It's not really our main focus. This channel is definitely still our main focus, but like it takes a very concentrated effort to get a new channel, a new thing, a new project off the ground. I'm sure plenty of you watching know what I'm talking about. So like, that's a very conscious effort. We're doing that while we're trying our hardest to not let our booths slip. So, you know, this stuff showing up and looking for this stuff and uh, the Harry Potter stuff's ultimately going to go in booths, but like we'd like to get a little content out of some of this first, um, you know, so and then hand, dishes for Hannah's booths and all this other stuff. Today's was just one of those days where it's like, whoa, <laughs> like I'm not tired. Like I don't feel bad about it. Like I'm not worn out and they're like, I can't do this way. I'm still pretty pumped. Like I actually don't want to go to bed. I want to go sort cards. Like I'm just so jazzed about what we did today. So. Uh, that being said, I want to say a couple thanks to you. Thank yous. Thank you definitely to Aaron. Let's do it again soon. Uh, and you guys, pretty please, go check out his YouTube channel. Uh, he does some very specific technical stuff. I think he's got some Game Boy mod type videos on his channel. So if you're interested in that, pretty please uh, check him out. I'll put some links below and et cetera, et cetera. <sighs> But I also want to say thank you to you guys for hanging out with us. Uh, more so, thank you for making this possible. Um, when we started reselling, we jumped right into reselling, and reselling was most of our income, and it still is the largest portion of it. But of course, we have found some success here on YouTube, so just YouTube revenue, you guys watching, you guys peeping those ads, it helps. And I appreciate you for doing that. I appreciate you watching those ads and uh, just paying attention to us because it really helps us it really enables us to do some of this crazy stuff that I spent a lot of time in disbelief that we're actually doing you know what I mean so thanks for that I really do thank you from the bottom of my heart I'll do me a couple favors before we get out of here we have a public discord where you guys can come chat with us Aaron is a member over there so come chat him up he's a pretty good wealth of knowledge for these type things I text him all the time to ask him where he gets some of these custom buttons and stuff um Come over to the Discord. There's a link for that below. Check out our merch store, TendosTrash.com. Check out our hashtag Trash Life merch. Keep on posting your social media posts of your thrift finds, your garage sale finds with a hashtag Trash Life hashtag. Uh, we're going to do some live stuff here soon and go back and look at your posts and do some giveaways for those posts. Live, right here, live, just like this. It'll be fun. Hannah, did I forget anything? Um, uh, no. How awesome is a big brick of Dragon Ball Z cards? Actually, if you feel so inclined, go check out our other channel, Rubber Duck Yellow. Rubber Duck Yellow. Go you check see it now. <laughs> what's in all of this? Yeah, if you want to see Hannah put, if you want to see Hannah go live and put her Bratz cards in her Brat binder, <laughs> you gotta sub over there first, okay? Because it's gonna be real. It's gonna be lit. I don't even think I'll be on camera. It's just gonna be Hannah live. Hey, look at these Bratz cards. I'm gonna open them now. <laughs> Do you want to see me be super awkward on camera? <laughs> Okay, let's open it now. <laughs> oh, Hi, look. guys. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, you're ridiculous. All right. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Come back tomorrow. Hang out with us then because we do post daily videos here on this channel. Seriously, every single day. We haven't missed a day in forever. So come back tomorrow. And until then, guys, peace out.